Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology. This is Rajshri here. Today's video is the last video in the series of Jupiter's transit in the sign of Taurus. And today I'm going to discuss about the results for Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces moon signs and ascendants. And before I come to the predictions, the results, one short note and that is if you know how to see the Ashtagvarga points in your own birth chart, check for Jupiter's Ashtagvarga and check how many points Jupiter has in the sign of Taurus. So if the points are ranging between 4 to 5, it's an average transit for you. If it's more than 6, it's a good transit for you. But if it's less than 4, then this transit may not be that productive for you. So this is in short and it, it applies for all the ascendants and moon signs. Now let me uh, begin with the results for Capricorn. For Capricorn people, Jupiter will come to your 5th house on 1st of May 2024 and will remain there till 14th of May 2025. This activates your Dharma Trikon. In this prediction, I need to segregate the moon signs and the ascendants clearly because the results will vary a little bit. Let me first talk about the moon signs. This is one of the best transits of Jupiter, the fifth house transit. There will be overall improvement in your life. You are going through the last phase of Sarisati. And this transit of Jupiter will bring some positivity in your life. It's a respite. It will lessen the heaviness that you have been feeling in your thinking and in your approach towards life because of Sarisati. This transit can bring a child in your life. Uh, that's if it's applicable to you. This will be a good time financially as well. Gains from uh, speculative investments can also be there. A love interest may flourish. You will come across knowledgeable people and they will be helpful to you as well. This will be a good time for spiritual initiation too. Overall, this will be a creative phase for you. Now let's see how the transit will be for the Capricorn Ascendants. For you, Sarisati does not apply. Jupiter is a naturally benefic planet and coming to the auspicious fifth house is going to give you benefic results uh, just like the moon signs. However, let's not forget that Jupiter is not a great planet for you as per your ascendant. And it is the planet of hard work, loss and expenditure as well. So remain careful when you are investing money. It will be best to avoid speculative investments during this phase. Otherwise, it can bring loss as well. Some of the expenses can happen on your children too. Large amount of expense is foreseen on education. You will need to put in extra effort in your studies as well. If you do it, you are going to reap the benefits too. There is a strong chance that some of you will change the field of your education in the next one year. Some of you may even decide to discontinue studies. If you are in writing, if you are in uh, media, entertainment industry, Jupiter's transit in Taurus will give you benefits. Let's now see. Uh, some other results that will be equally applicable for both the moon signs and the ascendants. Now Jupiter will be aspecting your 9th house, 11th house and your 1st house. This further confirms that the focus in the next one year will be on education, will be on learning, will be on gaining large amount of money. Long distance travel for education or for religious reasons can also happen. Both Saturn and Jupiter will be activating your 11th house. Financial gains from investments will be there. If you are investing money, go for long-term investments though. 
some of your desires your ambitions will get fulfilled jupiter's aspect on your sign gives you protection from all kinds of difficulties brings optimism back in your life jupiter will be transiting 11th houses away from your house of marriage and partnership so expect good marital harmony and if you marry in the next one year it will bring prosperity in life lastly jupiter will be passing through the 8th house from your house of profession and social status so expect a long lasting transformation in your career as well this transformation will bring better results in the long run now i'll talk about aquarius for aquarius people jupiter will come to your 4th house on 1st may 2024 and will be there till 14th of may 2025 jupiter in the 4th house will activate your moksha trikon that's the triangle of your expenses and liberation jupiter's transit in the 4th house is good for a transfer or change of residence gain of a house or a vehicle can be there but the process may bring some mental anxiety and tension as well it shows that you will put your savings into house and property for domestic peace or for maintaining cordiality with others this transit is not that great aquarius moon signs are already going through peak of sarasati and this transit of jupiter is not really bringing any respite for you even for aquarius ascendants saturn in your sign is increasing your confidence no doubt about that but you are also under tremendous stress and workload and your life is going through a big change so even for you jupiter's transit works more or less like the moon signs jupiter will pass through the 8th house from your house of fortune and father try to avoid long distance travel during this time father's health can cause concern as well you may also find that the luck is not really supporting you the next one year will be good if you are in research related higher education if you are studying jyotish this time will be good for you jupiter will be passing through the 11th house from your house of disease loan and competition now this can work in two ways if your work is related to these fields you are gaining out of it and for others an increase in health issues can be there loans can be there and this loan will come to you and you will be using this loan for gaining more money so this might as well be a business loan jupiter's aspect on your 8th house on ketu and also on the 12th house shows spiritual progress for you this will be a very good time for astrologers too your expenses will be high if your work is related to foreign countries or hospitals you will do well jupiter's aspect on your career house indicates that you will make all possible efforts to take your career to the next level your sign lord saturn is also aspecting your career house so expect a rise in a professional life through some transformation next the last sign that's pisces for pisces people jupiter is coming to your third house on 1st of may 2024 jupiter will be there till 14th of may 2025 this transit of jupiter is activating your desire houses that's your kam trikon dear pisces the next one year paves way for your desire fulfillment jupiter is your sign lord so you will actively work towards fulfilling your ambition reaching your professional goals and making sure that you get 
what you want. If you are not married yet, wedding bells are ringing for you. If you are married, your married life will be harmonious as well. You will enjoy better understanding with your spouse. Travel, multiple travel can happen for you. If you are looking to change your residence or to relocate elsewhere, this will be the time for you. Now, things will be a bit different for Pisces moon signs. If you are Pisces moon sign, in addition to what I said just now, you will also experience some difficulties in executing your ideas or projects. However, it will be a good time to start the ideation process. If you are planning to write a book, this will be a good time for that too. Note one thing that for Pisces moon signs, it's the onset of Sarisati, the very first phase. So some difficulty is always associated with that. Uh, rather, instability is associated with that. Now coming back to the Jupiter's results, your siblings are going to do well because of Jupiter's position in the, in the third house, but you may have some differences with them. Some amount of inner restlessness or anxiety can bother you. Plan your travel carefully or drive carefully during this period. Jupiter will be passing through the 11th house from your house of education creativity and children. So good news for all of these. If you are in creative work, in the entertainment industry, in performing art, good times are ahead of you. Your children are going to do well. There may be birth of a child as well. It is going to be a good year for students for both general and higher studies. Jupiter will be transiting through the 8th house from your house of in-laws. So someone's health in the in-laws family can cause worry. Professionally, this phase will be moderately good, but you need to avoid conflicts with your boss. So everyone, this is what I had to share about Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. I hope this, these predictions are giving you some kind of guidance for the upcoming, for the next one year. Uh, so if, if it does, do like this video, share with others as well and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And one more thing that uh, there has been some, uh, you know, noise issues in my videos of late. And that's because it's so hot here that I have to keep the fan on. I have tried to cut down the noise and use the tower fan this time. Hope that helps. And bear with me please. Thank you again. May God bless us all.